to the breath first search module. In this module, we're going to look at how to traverse a tree in a level, level order manner and what are the uses of this algorithm. So breadth first search is also called level order traversal. This is because in this algorithm, we try to traverse the given tree level by level. So first we want to traverse all the nodes on level one. Then we want to traverse all the nodes on level two. And then we want to traverse all the nodes at level three. Since this tree only has three levels, I only have to go three levels deep. If the tree has more than three levels, you will have to do the following. Uh, you will have to do the same for all the following levels. So the order in which I want to traverse my tree in this case will be first one, which is the root. Then I will go down to two. Then I will go to five, seven, and then I will go to the next level, which will be three, four, six, eight, and nine in this order. Now, in this case, when we want to do a level order traversal, we will have to introduce something like a queue because we need to keep a track of which all children we have explored yet. What I mean to say is that when I look at the root node, which is one, I know that next I want to explore all its children. So what I will do is I will push two, five and seven, which are the children of one into this queue that I'm maintaining. Once I'm done exploring the first node, which has value here one, I will start popping from my queue. Once I pop a number, suppose I pop two. When I pop a number, that means I have the permission to explore it. So I explore two. Once I explore two, I can print it. And I know that I need to explore all its children, but I need to explore them later so I can push them in the queue. So I will explore two, print two, and push both of its children three and four into the queue. Now my queue's front is five. So I can pop five, I can explore five. When I explore five, I can print it. And what I can do next is look at its children, which I have to explore later and push them in the queue. So six goes right here into the queue. Now my next element in the queue is seven. When I look at seven, I can print seven. And at the same time, because I know I have to explore its children at a later stage, I can push eight and nine into the queue. Now my queue has a front which has value three. So at this point, we should notice that we have completed traversing level one, which had one node, and we have completed traversing level two, which had three nodes, two, five, and seven. Now I'm moving on to all the children of the nodes which were there at level two. So now I'm moving on to nodes three, four, six, eight, and nine, which are actually at level three. So now if we, now if we look at the queue, we will be popping out three. Three does not have any children, so I don't have to push anything into the queue. Similarly, I will be popping out four, six, eight, and nine. Once I'm done with popping all of this, my queue will become empty because I did not have any children to push into the queue when I was popping out each of these leaf nodes. When my queue is empty, I can safely say that I have ended my breadth first search and I have printed the level order traversal for this tree.